I specialise in treating people with pain around the low back and pelvis, often following failed treatments elsewhere. Um, piriformis syndrome is a common uh, presentation in clinic and um, it's not a diagnosis that I like to use. I would never use the, the diagnosis of piriformis syndrome, <laughs> even though it sounds fancy. And if I was being cynical, I think you might say something like using a bit of Latin in your diagnosis helps you sound like you know what you're talking about and helps uh, you maybe charge a few more pennies. Now, I prefer to use the diagnosis pain in your bum um, for a couple of reasons. Firstly, the pain science is... Um, increasingly telling us that you can't be very specific about a structure that's causing pain in the body and it's often wrong to do so uh, because if you do that well and this is the second reason it closes your mind to other possible uh, structures or mechanisms that might be uh, involved in the pain uh, so in the piriformis syndrome or where we're using the term piriformis syndrome we might also want to think about uh, the sciatic nerve and desensitizing the sciatic nerve using something like a flossing technique where you get the uh, get the nerve moving more um, or strengthening techniques or indeed uh, sort of movement education uh, to help uh, relax the muscles in in the case of sort of gluteal gripping type stuff so you can see there's, there's several ideas that might need to come to mind that wouldn't come to mind if one's focusing specifically on piriformis syndrome. I often feel sorry uh, for the therapists that have gone before me when a patient comes to me with a very specific idea of piriformis syndrome because what they often describe is telling me that their therapist wasn't able to hit the spot and, and I picture this poor therapist trying to stick their elbows into this very specific piriformis muscle uh, trying their best to release it uh, and failing to do so in the patient's eyes because the pain hasn't been resolved. Um, but that's because the patient has been saying, you've got this piriformis syndrome, I, I, you know, I know what I'm talking about. I'm, uh, you know, I'm a personal trainer or I'm a soft tissue therapist or, you know, or I've looked it up on Google and, and I, you know, and I, I, you know, I talk very confidently and, and, you know, I often find that you, what you've got to do is you, you've got to simplify these things and uh, know it's uh, move away from this specific terminology, which makes you sound like you really know what you're talking about um, and say, no, it's a pain in the bum. There might be a few other things causing it. Yeah, well, if you want, we'll maybe do a, a bit of work of you know, soft tissue into the muscles in the gluteal region. And if I'm lucky, I might hit the piriformis muscle not that difficult I don't think um, but uh, there's probably other stuff going on especially if you're coming to see me uh, following failed treatment then let's try and think a bit more broadly uh, and a bit more intelligently about what might be happening so uh, hope that's useful and interesting please don't hesitate to contact me if you've got any questions about that or anything else regarding sort of uh, low back pelvic hip pain um, my name's Adam Richmond. I'm an osteopath working in Nottingham at the Adjust Clinic in West Bridgeford. Thanks a lot.